Hey, what's up? This is John. This is the Go SD Plate Steel Front Bumper Installation Video. Go ahead and begin by removing the plastic plug in the end cap of the stock bumpers. Remove the screw and then go repeat that process on the other side of the van. Go ahead and pry the rubber guard off the front of the bumper, exposing the two outer mounting bolts. Remove both bolts and then the whole bumper can be removed. So if you have fiberglass bumpers on your van, the process will be a little bit different. You're going to start by removing all of the Phillips head screws that hold the air dam onto the vehicle. With the air dam off, the next thing we'll do is move over to the fiberglass panels on the bottom of the front doors. There are two 10 millimeter nuts in between these panels and the door itself. Remove those two nuts and we'll pull the fiberglass panel away. To remove these brackets, you'll need to simply drill out the rivets that attach them to the van. Sometimes when you're drilling out the rivets, the whole rivet will begin to spin and the drill won't work. You can also use a die grinder to shear off the head of the rivet. With the rivet heads removed, we can pull these plastic brackets away from the van. So what you're left with are four rivets sticking out that have been cut off. What you want to do is tap these into the vehicle and then retrieve them from inside. You'll need to remove the door panel to get down into the channel of your door. You'll also have four holes in the door that will need to be addressed however you wish. If you're having your vehicle painted, the body shop can handle this, or there are rubber grommets that are available that you can place in the holes to keep it watertight. So with all of our side paneling removed, the next thing will be to take the bumper off. The bumper is attached to the vehicle at two points on each side. There's this one 13 millimeter headed bolt here on the bottom and one six millimeter head Allen bolt at the front of the bumper. With those four bolts removed, you can pull your front bumper away from the van. With the fiberglass bumper assembly removed, the next thing that you'll need to address is these boxes that are welded to the bottom of the vehicle. These are where the stock bumper bolted up. What we do here is cut them away. There are three welds holding them onto the vehicle. You can use a die grinder to cut away the welds and remove the boxes. Fiberglass bumpers also had these support brackets welded to the top of the bumper bulkhead. You can use your die grinder to cut away the welds here. Anytime you cut on your vehicle, you'll leave exposed metal. You want to be sure to seal this metal with a primer so that it doesn't rust later. With all of this said and done, now we can move on to installing our steel bumper. Set the new bumper into position on the bulkhead and loosely bolt it to the van using the front mounting provisions. Now we'll move under the van and bolt up the side supports. Slip one end of the strap into the largest hole in the frame and the other end of the strap into the bumper corner. Align the holes here loosely and attach the two with the provided hardware. Torque both mounting points here and then repeat this process on the other side of the van. Return to the front of the van and torque the front mounting bolts down fully. A trick for the bolt caps is to turn them inside out and then press them over the bolt head and snap the sides down. 